Hello there, my beautiful Scorpio friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome, my friends. My name is Ria, and I do these readings every week. Now this is your full moon reading everyone. We have the full moon coming up here on February the 24th. It's in the sign of Virgo. I always find that the full moon is a perfect opportunity for us to check in with ourselves. It's a time of releasing and letting go of any kind of energies that no longer serve our higher purpose. It's also a completion period for some of us as well. This is where the moon is illuminating our path, really bringing things to surface, shedding light, giving us clarity, and being in the sign of Virgo and earth sign. This is really about digging deep, taking a look at where we are in life, checking in again with ourselves to see where we need to make those necessary adjustments and edits and making those edits and adjustments and moving forward. So this is going to be a very intense, again, a very serious moon. All right. So what I've got prepared for everyone today are six different decks. We're going to open your reading today with an Oracle message from the Autumn Sky Oracle deck followed by three tarot cards out of my tarot deck. Then I'm going to pull a surrender card to see what you need to release and let go of in your life, followed by a healing message as well. I'm also going to pull a bonus card from the Soul Mirror Oracle deck and read you the interpretation from the guidebook today. And then I'm going to uh, end off with an angel number for you as well. So those of you that are watching, if you've been seeing signs through animals or insects, any kind of uh, angel numbers or repeating numbers, this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So stay tuned for all of this, my beautiful friends. All right, Scorpio, let's open up your reading here with an Oracle card from the Autumn Sky Oracle deck. We're going to see what it is that spirit would like you to know during this full moon. So look at this. I love this card, Scorpio. Paradox. Look at that. I don't know if any of you have seen any of the images on this card, but this is your confirmation today. So the message on the back of this card is be open to new narratives, allow space for contradiction, meditate on the middle ground, acknowledge other perspectives, make peace with not knowing, inhale and exhale. So they're wanting you to look at the bigger picture at all angles of everything in your life, not to take everything for face value here. This is kind of what I'm picking up on today for you. So I don't know if any of you are seeing ravens, a black one or a white one. Uh, we've got some golden coins here as well on this image. So I feel some of you are going through something and perhaps your beliefs are being tested or there's something going on where you're having to look through a different angle here, Scorpio. Maybe you're at a roadblock. Things might not be making sense for some of you. This could be anything really in your life, but I feel that uh, signs, intuition are really high right now. So I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck here and see what else spirit would like you to know, Scorpio. The Knight of Cups. So we have something incoming, an offering, something that is going to touch your heart and open you to a new path. Scorpio, so Knight of Cups to start. I feel this is going to take some strategy, some planning, some organization, and this is going to help you free yourself from something as well. Okay, so the Knight of Cups, we also have the High Priestess. So you're highly intuitive. There is some information. There is a, a connection that is available for you. Spirit is trying to connect and channel information through you here, Scorpio. Now, this is a major arcana card. This energy is prominent. It's in the background. Some of you are going to feel this intensely. Others, you're going to feel this subtly. All right, so High Priestess and the Queen of Wands. 
Very loving energy here, feminine energy. Spirit guides are asking you to remain open and receptive. You're going to grow here. You're going to experience a lot of growth and expansion in your life. You're also putting energy into something new here. This is the other thing I'm picking up. Like you're almost giving birth to a new idea. There's some inspiration coming in that is creating this emotion um, that is that is then at, um, that is then making you move forward, like take action on it. So interesting. So you're inspired at this time, Scorpio. Queen of Wands. So what I also want you to do here is to use your own intuition with my reading. So whenever you see my cards popping up on screen, I want you to try and interpret them using your own intuition. Not only will this strengthen your intuition, but you will also receive your own messages. So Queen of Wands energy for you, Scorpio. Before I begin, I just wanted to mention that we all live a different life experience. These cards are going to present themselves differently in each of our lives. This is also a general reading and may not resonate for everyone today. So those of you that are watching, if my reading isn't resonating for you, please leave it behind. So Scorpio, I feel there's a lot of um, different things going on in your lives different kind of signs, synchronicities, like you are tuned in, you are tapped into energy. And I feel some of you might be experiencing like weather phenomenons around you um, or like different, um, something to do with the outside. It's almost like, you know how nature can sometimes take a U-turn with bad weather? It feels like, like things are falling or dropping. It doesn't have to be a lot of things in your life right now, Scorpio, but I do hear something falling. Maybe a picture fell, maybe a cup fell off the table, um, or you dropped something. Like things are dropping and falling. So I feel this is a sign for you that things are about to uh, start shifting for you. And this is communication also coming through spirit and the universe here, especially with the dropping. So I don't know what the dropping means. And I feel like, I don't know if you've dropped a cup as you're drinking something or it fell off the tape. Like I'm seeing a cup falling. Now we have an offering coming in and I do feel this is a sign for some of you that there is an offering coming in through the Knight of Cups energy. That's why the cups are falling. Um, or you're painting a cup or you're made a pot. Oh my gosh. Um, but they're really wanting you to understand that there's communication coming in and you're highly intuitive. And this is where spirit really needs you to kind of slow down a little bit, Scorpio, and tune into this energy, ground yourself and even meditate. Um, I feel you're being, uh, redirected here. Okay. There's some sort of turn coming up in your life and, this is going to show up in your life for some of you as an offering, an opportunity, something that someone's going to give to you or say to you or support, like some way someone is physically coming in uh, or talking to you. Like it doesn't even have to be physical here, but there's almost like this exchange of something that is going to open a new door for you. So I'm having a really hard time understanding what spirit is saying for you, uh, Scorpio, but I just feel like it might be confusing for some of you. It might not show up the way that you had expected it to. It's almost like a blessing in disguise. So this is where the confusion is. This is why I'm not understanding it because it's coming in in a way you're not expecting. So expect the unexpected here, Scorpio. I also feel this is going to give you freedom, a little bit of freedom or a whole lot of uh, freedom as much as you're actually requiring here, Scorpio, to do something um, that you're passionate about, that, that touches your heart here. So they're opening you up to a new journey here, a new chapter, a new cycle. Okay, this is what this energy is bringing in. And what spirit guides want you to understand is you have to have a plan here, Scorpio. You have to have a strategy. You have to create organization in your life and work towards something. So they want you to actually um, listen to your heart here and follow your heart. That's the opportunity that is coming in. Something that's going to touch your heart. This could come in as inspiration, intuition through your mind as an idea or something that sparks, sparks your heart, your heart chakra. So this is where you're feeling happy, joy, passionate, and then you're wanting to move forward with that, to take action on that. So before that energy uh, flows out of you, write it down. That way you can go back to it and you don't forget about it. And I feel there's going to be a lot of different ones coming through, but there's one specifically that you're meant to follow here. This is going to embark, you're going to embark on a new journey here with this. And 
it is almost freeing some time up for you or freeing you in some area in your life. Like you're being set free here. It's going to be like a slow release as you free yourself. Okay, this is kind of what's coming through here for you. And this is a manifestation. This is a form of a manifestation now that is uh, taking formation in your life here. So some of you are going through a turbulent time right now. It might not be as heavy for, uh, for some as it is for others, but it's like a little bit of a shaking going on. And this is because whatever environment, situation that you're in, you can't remain in this place in order for this manifestation to come into your world. So that releasing is happening automatically for you. So you might be seeing things. That's why the droppings are happening. The dropping of the cups. This could be relationships, things that you once loved and enjoyed that are no longer in alignment with you, your purpose, your, your values, your beliefs, whatever this is, Scorpio. So I feel some of you are kind of decluttering your life, your energetic space. This could be you doing this spiritually as well, Scorpio. So it's a decluttering of yourself. It's a, almost like this re-energized um, vibrational energy that is coming in here, like this is interesting because I feel some of you are actually creating this for yourself. Like you are the one that is diving deep and really getting to the bottom and looking at things because there's something that you're passionate about. I, I feel the passion has set in for some of you and this is coming through the Knight of Cups. So I, I feel that some of you are researching, digging deep, trying to find information and this is in alignment with your purpose, your higher self, like there's almost like this familiar fear feeling or this feeling of you're meant to do this, Scorpio. So you're following this and your understanding, like there's almost like this understanding or knowledge coming in. And I, I feel some of you are not even uh, realizing where this is coming in from. This is you, um, spirit using you as a channel of energy in order to, so there's like a flow state coming in with this as well. Wow, some of you are on a major spiritual journey here and you've really done your homework and you're really going far with this. So this is kind of what I'm picking up for some of you as well. And I'm sorry, I'm all over the place with this, but this energy is just in so many, it's moving in so many different directions. So perhaps you're moving in many directions and you have to ground and center yourself and allow spirit to communicate and guide you at this time so you can have that clear path. So focus is going to be very important for you to understand where it is that you're going, Scorpio, so spirit can help you, help guide you, bring you that information so it doesn't feel so overwhelming and um, it feels almost like, crazy or neurotic in a sense it's kind of like too much information right so this might be disturbing your sleep this might be um, creating some sort of nightmares because what happens is when we get overloaded with energy and we don't know what to do with it especially those of us that are empaths and picking up on empathic energy here as well so it can really uh, do a number on us especially um, emotionally and energetically and we have the full moon right now so things are coming to light Things are being uh, shown here as well, like you're starting to see things here, which is giving you clarity, but also uh, making you realize what's really going on in a sense here. Um, almost like illusions are being come to, are coming to the forefront and you're starting to see things in a different light. Uh, the paradox shift, that's what it is. I forgot about this card that we pulled and I just uh, was drawn to it. So looking at all angles here because the confusion will clear itself. Doing your own research as well, Scorpio. Don't believe everything that you hear or see. Do your own research, do your homework. This is what's coming up because you have the answers. They're not outside of you. And listening to something else, someone else online, whatever this is, you're not going to get the truth there. The truth sits within you. Your truth is whatever you believe in, Scorpio. So remember that. Um, I don't know if any of you are seeing the number twos or if you're seeing 1111. This is also coming in as a confirmation for some of you. We have the Queen of Wands. There's a lot of energy um, available for you at this time, Scorpio. And I feel that you're feeling really good. You're energized. You're able to take a lot. I feel some of you are misunderstood. Um, right now, especially because of confusion or whatever it is that you're feeling with this energy, it can go any which way. 
but I feel there's almost like this misunderstanding or people not getting you, Scorpio. So spirit guides want you to be compassionate towards yourselves and others. I feel this uh, understanding, this truth is coming in for you and you're going to connect with people that are meant to be in your life that are going to uplift your spirit. So there's a lot of, um, this is why they're wanting you to be open and receptive because you're realigned to some different energy here. It's a higher energy. This is where you're going to experience that growth and expansion, that ascension that is happening. So you're being put into alignment with different kinds of energy. So relationships in your life might change. Uh, you might see things disappearing in your life and other things appearing. So it's almost like this, uh, your world is now morphing. You're going through that morphing stage and spirit guides are really wanting you to ground your energy, center yourself and find that inner sanctuary when you're feeling overwhelmed and to take care of yourself as you're going through this. I feel this is you kind of birthing this new reality in your life. So it's a, it's a manifestation taking formation for some of you and a paradox shift, right? So be open to new narratives. Um, meditate on the middle ground. So perhaps you're moving into this new journey, this new chapter that you might be afraid of or are not wanting in your life for whatever reason. But this is coming in because it's meant to come in and Spirit guides want you to be open and receptive to anything because anything is possible here. And it might not be in the way that you would like it to be, Scorpio, but know there's a reason for why things are happening the way that they're happening in your life at this time. All right. And nurture the areas of your life that are the most important to you, that make your heart sing, that are uh, fulfilling to you, that bring you a lot of happiness and joy, whatever that is, whoever that is, put more of your energy in those areas of your life because you're going to see some massive growth here. Um, you're really being given this blessing of intuition. Um, some of you have psychic abilities as well. And those of you especially embarking on something new, this is, this is probably where some of your changes are coming in is around your career, around how you build wealth, how you bring in that uh, abundance of finances. You're going to see an uptick here through you following your heart, through you nurturing the areas of your, and, and making sure uh, you're nurturing the areas of your life, but also living from that heart-centered space. Um, I feel people are also drawn to you at this time as well, Scorpio. So your wisdom, your words, there's something healing about you as well. I feel you give a lot of yourself. Um, no matter what this passionate energy is, you put it in everything around you. So um, you are a magnet right now as well. So know that people are attracted to your energy here because there's something that you're meant to offer. Um, not as far as physical things, but it, I feel it's your energy, it's your love, it's your expression, your creativity that gives people a healing touch in a sense. So you're divinely being guided. There's a path, there's a purpose for you, and that's what's being revealed to you right now, Scorpio. So being open and receptive, knowing that you're going through a shift right now and you're put, being put into alignment with your higher path, with your higher purpose. So what I'm going to do now is pull a surrender card for you, Scorpio. So the full moon is a perfect opportune time for us to surrender, release, and let go. All right, so let's see what it is that you need to surrender from your life or surrender to. Surrender to creativity. Look at that. Surrender to creativity. Remember, it starts with you and that expression, however you want to share that in the world, however you want to express yourself. We've got butterflies here. Did we have butterflies on this card? No. We've got butterflies on this card. We've got a mirror, so a reflection of you in your outer world. The message on this card is let your imagination soar, Scorpio. Stay open to all creative ideas about how to pursue a dream or solve a problem. So I feel dreams are coming true, wishes are coming true here as well. And there's something coming in that is really going to make you happy, Scorpio. So look at that. Surrender to creativity. Now I'm going to pull a healing message for you. This is the Divine Healing Oracle card deck. This comes with little animals and numbers on the card. So 
I would like you to remember the message of this card if you're seeing these numbers or animals. So cherish the softness of your heart, Scorpio, the number 11. So 11s, if you've been seeing these numbers anywhere in your life, this is your confirmation today. Those of you that are looking for um, timing, 11 days, 11 weeks, and 11 months, we've got this cute little Cocker Spaniel. I believe this is what it is, or a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. But if you've been seeing this dog, if you have this dog as a pet, as a companion, this is your confirmation today. So the message on this card is see your sensitivity as a gift, Scorpio. Allow your heart to remain open and love freely. Let me read that again. See your sensitivity as a gift, Scorpio. Allow your heart to remain open and love freely. The affirmation on this card for you today is it is safe for me to be vulnerable. So it's okay and safe for you to be vulnerable, Scorpio. So I'm going to go ahead and pull a bonus card. This is the Soul Mirror Oracle deck. It's a reflection deck. And I thought, what a beautiful deck to use during the full moon reading. So here we are, everyone. I'm going to read you the interpretation from the guidebook. This guidebook also comes with reflection uh, journaling prompts. So feel free to write them down. So Scorpio, what is it that spirit would like you to know today? wish despairing and hopeful so i believe libra just had this as well i believe it was libra it could have been virgo so wish is coming up for you scorpio we've got butterflies in this image as well so perhaps some of you are seeing butterflies in your life let's uh, open up this uh, interpretation and read this to you so you are a being of infinite potential scorpio and the universe is ever present to hold and support you in your journey with love and hope as your guiding light, craft your with, wish with energetic ant anticipation, knowing that the universe will bring it to fruition. With deep, unconditional love and appreciation for everything around you, cast your focus on your wish. From this space, craft your desire with anticipation and know that the universe will always support and guide you. Give your wish space and time to energetically let go like dandelion seeds taken by the wind to where they need to land and bloom. Let the universe take control. So I don't know if any of you used to blow on those dandelions and they fly away. I used to always make wishes on those. So this could be a sign for you as well. Be sure to make room for the wish of quieting the despairing mind, no matter how big and scary your vision or wish may appear. Things are only ever as big and scary as you create them to be, Scorpio. A negative attachment or pressure for your wish to grow will sow the seed of despair and restrict access to the infinite power the universe holds. Take some time to look at why any conditions may be present. Work on healing yourself to remove the blockage. Give thanks for this reflection and move forward with joy, hope, and happiness. So, the reflection journaling prompts here are, how can I remove conditions and restrictions to unearth and nurture my hopes and desires? Am I cultivating a positive attitude and appreciation for the present moment as I work towards my hopes and desires? So there you have it, Scorpio. Wish is your bonus card today. We're going to go ahead and pull an angel number as well. So those of you that are watching, if you've been seeing repeating numbers or angel numbers in your life, this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So let's see what we get here for you, Scorpio. Sacred match, two, 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 two. So if you've been seeing the number twos in your life, this is your confirmation that you have a sacred match, Scorpio. All right, so any of you looking for timing, 22 days is coming up. Also, two days, two weeks, two months. You are vibrating in harmony right now. Scorpio. And what spirit guides want you to do is you're, if you're feeling overwhelmed, caught in that chaos, center yourself and vibrate in harmony. Collaborations are happening for you at this time as well. This is why spirit is wanting you to remain open and receptive. Keep going. Again, balance is coming up. You're planting seeds here and there's a union happening. All right. There is a union coming in. So this could be a friendship. This could be 
anything in your life, a relationship, this could be a job, this could be an opportunity, something that is meant to join to you, Scorpio. So this is your message today. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.